Son of man, Sean Paul, I'm only blaming you for this. I, my nurse Kathleen, the poor woman, has bad old knees. I, she know her kids up in the windows. She's begging her sons to stop out carrying that. I swear, my dead granny, she is. Oh, miners, that's one thing. Miner and your daddy is great friends. Maybe your daddy's the one, mate. Miner's Kathleen and Miner's near burden now, loves to the day. Miner's Kathleen wouldn't have the strength and the quickness to walk down the house stairs where she's got her knee operation, bad old brain. Down Miner did 16, 17 years in jail. I swear, you know I love my people. And that's all I'm fighting for. I swear, John Paul, Mrs. John Paul, and my three children's life, if you burn or the next time miners' house is attacked, it's the same thing as you cut me daughter up in bits. I swear in my mommy and daddy's life, Mrs. John Paul, son of man John Paul, your mommy, I paid walking out your house because I tricked her. I swear my children, I tricked her. And I felt sorry for a poor woman to do that. And a nice old woman she looks to me. I swear, and all our mummies are nice. You're trying to burn our mummies. We're, we're not attacking, burning houses, old people. But I swear, why am I after swearing? And you know me. I was in, I'm afraid of none. And especially when I'm in control, when I have something in my hand, I go in the top of 200 people because I feel in control. And I have courage and I'm willing to die or whatever happens to me afterwards. I swear in my poor Maggie's life, my beautiful daughter loves me better than anyone in the world. And I swear to her, he be his rest to kill Maggie. The next petrol bomb or the next burning that goes into any old people's houses or old, because they're all trying to stop us. We won't bother old King because I know old King is trying to stop his son. But if he gets his son, I'd like to kill him. But I, if I, I look at I swear my children that he's like the only one thing to me. John Paul, son of a John Paul. Do you know your mother that I took my heart my daughter? I would put a knife to her heart if we tried to kill any of our old people's family. Now, the ball is in your court now. I ask you all, 20, to come out to 20 of us, and we get a crowd out. He asks us to put the bed the whole time you're trying to be a chopped down cages. I'm not going to say what was done or what wasn't done. I'm telling you now, from now in, brother, any old person around us, and I swear my children, I will stab the face of your children going to school. I will do peg acid into your children's faces, and I will put a gun to my own brain afterwards that I won't be able to live myself and I tell them, but I will make sure that I will win the battle. I don't care. I swear in my mommy's life, if I was in my right brain, I would care. But I mean, granny may be dead, I'm not in my right brain. And I'm, a de I'm the worst state I ever was ever of a man that I ever was in my life. But I swear on my dead granny and on my beautiful children that I'm the most dangerous man that I ever was in my life. When I don't care about myself and I care about my people, I will hardly give a fuck about yours. So when I don't care about myself and if I do something real sick and bad, I'd be like to do away myself, but I'll make sure I'll win. I never lose, I will win. And if you want to go sick, I'm not a sick man. I swear on my mommy and daddy's life, I will go evil than the devil. And I don't want to do that. I'll go around with Father King's mass joke in my pocket. And that's for me from saving the harm. Not for fear of him, but save him for me, do what I'm planning to do. And I'll come out of notions, 
I know to take big notions of what I was thinking of doing. I swear, John Paul, I mean that granny, that me only little poor son I love, and I'm very proud of him. That he may be lying out with me best friend and me number first cousin, Kobe Shoei, that they call names. If he fire one more petrol bomb, in the top of the house, brown to any old people on us. And I swear, my mommy and daddy's life did. If it's only me, that will grin like Rambo with bullets strapped all around me. I'm willing to die and kill. And if I have to go to school, I swear on my children, I love my children, and I will never live with myself afterwards. I won't kill myself a fear of tear, no. I'd be a hero if I killed Mrs. Paddy or Mrs. John Paul or you, son of man, John Paul. I'll tell the judge that day, will you give me a middle? Because I'll die a hero and I'll get through this and I'll be proud of it. But you know, if I have to do sick things to your family for you doing sick things to me, I'll kill myself for doing them sick things. But I'll make sure, when I have to kill myself, that you'll, I'll die happier still than you will ever, ever die in your life. And I tell you now, I'm not trying to bluff you. I don't know what you, if you want to get me, get me. I can't stop you. I can't stop you to get me mommy. You can get me mommy tomorrow morning. Yeah? You can watch her from the town. I'm talking from me heart. I swear in my three beautiful children that will, and any person that'll take my children from me will die. If my wife tried to take my children from me, she will die. And I love my wife always. If I never lived with her, she's the mother of my children. But if she takes my children from me, she will die. If I can't get my children, she won't get them. And I swear, in my mommy and daddy's life, I have two years, I have two years side for me. I have two years side for me. I'm on the piece for ten. But you know that two years, two years and a life means nothing. I swear, my mother and father's life, if I wanted it, yeah, they're out there, the shades. I don't give a shite on my shades. The Dinnigans of Myers' nose, the barristers, the solicitor, the guard, we spit in our faces when I went to carry on, and I told you a sign for me in the courthouse a few days ago. I swear, in my mommy and daddy's life, I don't care about guard. They're a human being with a uniform on them. When I don't care about my own life, I don't care about anything else's life. And I'm not a bad man. I'm a nice man. I'm not a blagger. I'm not a bully. Everyone in Castle Bay knows it. Sweeney's, Barrett's, Conroy's, McDonald's, Fenro knows it. I, even when I fell out with fellas, when they got bullied, I stood up for them. I'm not a bully. I knew Chucky, Chucky, keep your nose over half an air, half an air, I leave you alone. Keep your nose over and don't call me a bully. And you vex over me going down, carry down with the big inlays in the dark, go down to the houses. No big inlay or no breed of a traveler again. And you sign me, you sign me, I have no problem with you. Any sign me, I respect for you because you're fighting me. Yeah, you went down to Galway and you went down by your own old family to go down there. Jaws is Paddy, I respect for him, a fight man. I have a China man, I don't go to Judas any. But you sign me, you come into this site looking for Curly Paddy. And you said young king is looking for it. You don't come into a equipment on the site and say, hey, you I know you carry down with Mrs. Paddy first. I'm not carrying down with you, son, Simon. I'm not. I have uh, respect for your family because you fight and you have courage. And that's what I like about you. I swear in my mommy's life, I'm no half easy. But don't come into that site and say you're a king around here. I wasn't there, and I'm no king over anyone. But no one will say and come into a to the side, tell that the young king was axing. 
You know young king over us in this side. He can stay it outside the side, don't come into the dark side saying it. And you, Chucky, Alter uh, McGinley, you keep your nose and you don't judge me because you don't know me. And if I was you, back away from me because you know your father that's not even a McGinley and you know your, your brother that made a fat one day shit in the bed. The fat bastard up in Dublin, you can't come back to Ireland. But I swear on my mother's life, I do be loads of times in England every day, every year. And my mommy and daddy's life, back away from me, I'm telling you, Arthur McGinley. Now, I'm telling the rest of you, bother our older people. And I swear on my mommy's life, if I have to cut children at school, and if I have to get it done, and I swear on my mother's life, even when you're locked up, you're as good as man in the inside. What James Quinn said, he's as good as man from over there. We've contacts. If I have to get children cut up and women blinded, I swear on my mommy and daddy's life, I will go sick. I, I never had to do it myself. I could keep myself after it while I do. But I swear on my children, at that time, I'll do it. So don't. Make minors Kathleen worry about coming down. I tell you now, to open the video, leave the all the out of it, because you're not safe in the site. You've no cages in the site. I will walk in, and we will walk in such a night. Could be a year, could be six months, could be tomorrow morning. And we will burn and shoot, and we will kill. That will make sure our life is gone. And you know us, we're not rapers, but we can kill. That's all I'll say.